DJ Pro has a huge selection of music sources, and in this video, I'm going to share with you everything I know about DJ Pro's music sources. Starting out in classic mode, if you want to load up a song from any music source, you're going to press one of these music selector buttons, and then we get a view of our music sources over here. So our sources are all of these down here, and then you could choose it. And in this part, you get a smaller view of our music sources. And if you want to make it bigger, you could press plus. And then you get a big view of our music sources, but we lose some of the features up here. So for the remainder of this tutorial, I'm going to be in pro mode because I believe in this mode, you get the biggest view of your music sources. And then you can still DJ with all the great features that DJ Pro has to offer up here. Our list of music sources are over here on the left and it scrolls down. So down here we get the three dots. So DJ Pro has a huge selection of music sources, but you're not gonna be using all of them. Most likely you're not gonna be subscribed to all the streaming services. So it may get overwhelming having this huge list over here to the left. So with these three dots, we could get rid of some stuff. Then you could do that, and now this list gets really small. So the more distractions that we can eliminate, that's gonna make DJing a lot more smoother. So the next one up is our files. So these are the files that are on your device, whether you're using the iPad or whether you're using the phone or the laptop, we can use our files. So what you could do, press this plus button, add files, and then you're gonna look through the file that you have, and then you're gonna press it, and then you're gonna open it, and then it, will be over here. So you see examples over here. So now anytime you use the app, you could just go over here and find find those files that you have loaded up. It's not going to show all of your files here. You have to press the plus and load it up. And another thing that you could do with the music sources, so if you wanted it to load it into DJ Pro from a different app, you could press this button here, the share button, and then yes, we can put it in our files. If you save it the files, then you could find it that way. But a really cool feature is we could just go over here and then load it right up into DJ Pro and now it's loaded up. I think that's really cool. So these are our files and and it's really cool that we could use the files that are on our device. Next one, this one used to confuse people because people used to think that this was Apple Music Streaming Service. This is not Apple Music Streaming Service. These are songs that you have in your iTunes. So any music that you have on this device, your iPad or your phone or any other physical device, any music that is on there, you could start DJing right away with this source. And in any of these sources, there's going to be a search bar. So with the search bar, keep in mind that if you use this search bar, make sure you know which source you're in. So let's say you DJ with Tidal. Most of the most of the time you DJ with Tidal, and then you're DJing, and now you're in this local source. If you go to search, it's only going to search the local source. It's not going to search the whole internet for Tidal. So that's something that got me really confused when I was first starting out. Next is over here is video. So we get some demo videos. DJ Pro has a really good video mixer. You could DJ with music videos. You could DJ with videos that are on your device. So you could either use the demo ones or use music videos. If you have music videos on your device, load them right into the video mixer mode and start right away, which I definitely recommend. Or you could go to the videos that are on your device. So right now, if I record a video on this device, then I could load it up and these are the videos. Next, we're going to get into our streaming services. I'm not going to go too deep on all these. I made a lot of tutorials on the separated streaming service, but I will give you some tips. So we have Beat Source, Beat Port, SoundCloud, and Tidal. The SoundCloud and Tidal, and I'll get to Apple Music after. So down here is Beat Source, Beat Port, SoundCloud, and Tidal. These are all streaming services with millions and millions of songs. If you have an internet connection, you can load them up right away. Really cool, really cool, and I believe that's the future of DJing. So all three of these streaming services are going to be similar. They're going to have the similar type of music, and it's going to be music only. And if you're already signed up to them, that's great. You can start DJing with it. But the streaming service that I would highly recommend is going to be Tidal. So I would recommend Tidal because it's the closest to Spotify and we can't DJ with Spotify. 
but also again with the music videos you could search any song and find the music video so if we do Miley it's going to show, show our songs here and then it's going to show videos and then it's going to show artists and albums so now we have the video loaded up and if we go on vid if we go in video mode press play you're going to have that music video right there which is really cool and d definitely include music video mixing in your dj sets it's really easy to connect a tv or a projector and start djing also you could search for sound effects over the weekend i was at a baby shower and i was when they were opening the gifts i had i had a clapping sound effect and then i had um an audience going aww and it really really added everyone thought it was cool so now that we're over now that we're in title i just want to show you another feature that pertains to music sources and that's if we press this kind of hidden button here it's going to open up a new kind of drop down. So we have a couple of options. Over here is our queue. We could set a queue of songs that we plan on playing later. So you could add songs there. Your history. So let's say last Tuesday you played a great set or you were practicing and want to see what you did. This is where you're going to see it. The next one is really cool and this is Match. So now the crossfader is on Flowers by Miley Cyrus. This is going to use AI technology to choose to choose about to choose usually 20 songs that are similar in genre artist and style of music so if if you played flowers and people enjoyed it the ai technology thinks if you play prisoner by miley stylish if you play bad guy by billy eilish or if you play shape of you by ed sheeran you know pop songs it gives you these. This is really great if you're doing a request or you didn't do a good job making your playlist. You could go off of this for a while. This match feature is amazing. So now the next music source that we're going to go to is up here. And this is... Let me just put that back. And this is music that DJ gives us. So you download the app. You have no music on your device. You get a pretty big selection of different songs. So there's going to be different genres. You got Bass House. I like that one. You got a bunch of songs on Bass House, Breakbeat, Chill Out, all these different genres. You can favorite. These are the feature tracks. And then these are different labels. So genres, labels, favorites. So if you want to start DJing and you don't have your own music, this is a great way to do it. Next is Apple Music. This was really big news. People wanted to DJ with Apple Music for a while. Now you can. So it's going to be similar to the other streaming services. I don't think there's music videos, at least not yet, but you can get a two-month free trial, and it's a great streaming service. Now next is our playlist. This is where you're going to create and organize your playlist, which I think is the most important thing that a DJ can do is being organized with playlists. I think it's so important that I made... A I made a whole video about it, so you guys could check out this video over here, where I go into detail about DJ Pro's awesome playlist creation feature. 